Hello, everybody. It's Kim Shivler. Welcome. Today, we're actually going to take a quick look at how to use achievements with WP Courseware. So today, we'll be using WP Achievements with the WP Courseware training program or learning management system. In the near future, I'll be showing you how to do this with LearnDash, and we're going to be using a different achievements plugin called Badge OS. Now, there are a lot of different options for configuration, and if you're taking one of the premium courses on how to build an online course, we will go into a lot more depth. The concept of achievements is to help gamify your course and your website. So what this means is I've, I've got a blog post on gamification. I'm going to link to that in the notes. And what we want to do is provide achievements and badges and points to increase student interaction and provide motivation. So you can see here I have logged into my members page. This is my uh, this is last year's how to build a website in eight hours or less course. If you're listening to this in April of 2016, another course will be starting on the at the end of April. So make sure you check out whitegloveWebtraining.com and how to build a website in eight hours or less.com for more information. So you can see here I'm on my members page. This tells me that I've got three free WordPress courses I'm taking, and here are the achievements I have accomplished. So I have a little high five, a little thumbs up guy. I notice this says, great job. C quizzes aren't scary, you passed. So I got this for passing a quiz. And then this is my little high five with the dog and cat high fiving. High five, you're working with WordPress. Congratulations, you're officially working with WordPress. You rock. So then there would be more achievements that I could gather. So if I want to see what those others are, I can come here and click on achievements. And what this shows me is now this one is already unlocked. I've got this one. Great job is unlocked. I've got that one. And then there's also one called thank you for commenting. How do I get this? You get this achievement for adding a comment and it's worth a hundred points. So you can see up here, I also have my points and what I'm gathering points for. So these are just some of the options that we can do with our achievements plugin. Let's go ahead, add an achievement, and then gather that achievement to see what it looks like. From my dashboard in WordPress, I come down to my WP Achievements option. Now again, in the full course, we'll go through all the settings and set it up. We'll look at leaderboards and all kinds of things. For today, we're just going to look at adding another one to these. Just like with many things, we just click on Add New in order to add a new one. And I'm going to say, wow, you finished. And this is going to be get this achievement for finishing the course. So this is just the text that I show to the user. This is the title. And then what's the trigger? So my trigger is going to be completes a course. The course ID is optional. If you have multiple courses, you would probably want to put the course ID in. If you don't, it will be for all the courses. So if you had three courses and you don't have a specific ID, each time they have it, they could get it if they can have more than one occurrence. Now, I only have one course here. I only need one occurrence. So I'm going to just not put the ID and I'm going to have the number of occurrences as one and I'm going to give them 2,000 points. Ooh, 12,000 points. Yeah, let's just do that. That's fine. For recurring achievement, you can do that. For example, for quizzes, a lot of times, you might want it to recur each time they successfully complete the quiz. And then we have an image. Now, if you want to upload an image, you can do so here. That's what I did with the little dog and cat high-fiving. But they also give you many images that you can choose from. So I am going to, for this one, going to kind of go with the trophy because to me that's, you know, they're done, they finished, they should get the trophy. 
and then we publish. So now if I go back to my members page, and I go look at those possible achievements, I have another one. Wow, you finished? And it tells me, get this achievement for completing one course. So let's go do that. I'll go back to my members page. This is my course. I've almost completed it. Just two sessions left. So here I would be watching a replay of my fourth session, which was adding uh, opt-in forms. And I'm going to mark that as completed and go on to the next unit. And then this is the monthly health checklist that I give to everyone because once you've built your site, you're just starting, you're not done. And then I mark that as completed. It is now done. I have completed the whole course. Congratulations. And I can download my certificate at this time. So there I go. And if you've noticed this, if you've took the class on WP Courseware, you'll notice the certificate, etc. And if you want more information on this, I suggest taking the class on WP Courseware. So now I can go back over to my page and I now have a new achievement right there that I have made. So that's a quick overview for achievements using WP Courseware and WP Achievements. As I said, join me soon as I do Learn Dash and Badge OS. This is Kim Schivler. Thank you for joining me.